What's going on everybody? It's me, Jim Morgan from Sounds Nerdy. And in your blip today, Nintendo is sending out dev kits for its next NX device. And Microsoft will let you get your hands on the Microsoft Surface Book. More right after this. Welcome back, nerds. Once again, it's me, Jim Morgan from Sounds Nerdy. Uh, welcome to the blip for October 19th, 2015. Let's get right to the news. According to the Wall Street Journal and other sources, Nintendo has sent out software development kits for their next console codenamed NX. Although nothing is tangible at this point, reports suggest that the NX could be a console handheld hybrid system with interfusion chips in the device. Uh, hopefully the NX does incorporate some next level chips and Nintendo has learned from its mishaps with the Wii and Wii U. Stay tuned to Sound Theory as we learn more about the NX. Microsoft recently announced a slew of devices at its Windows 10 Devices event, and unfortunately, if you were not at the event, you haven't had a chance to go hands-on with these new devices. Until now, that is. Microsoft just announced um, Device Night, which will let you test drive these new toys. Device Night Tour will kick off in Boston and San Francisco on October 19th, with stops in a handful of cities. Check the description below for cities and dates. In VR news, Capcom's development Division 1 the group that developed Resident Evil series is building a VR focused engine. Capcom aims to create must play games and display the value of engaging games. The engine will support both VR games and current generation traditional games. Lionsgate is partnering with Starbreeze VR and Grab to launch a John Wick VR first person shooter set to launch in the spring of 2016. The VR game is set between the events of John Wick 1 and John Wick 2. Currently, Wii VR has a short interactive demo of the game on the HTC Vive World Tour Truck. Hopefully this game captures your aura and lets you be the badass John Wick was in the movie. Sprint and T-Mobile both recently announced they are working on features that will let customers use one number for multiple devices. AT&T was the first major carrier to announce this technology. Apparently there is a need for this technology since more mobile and wearable devices now come equipped with cellular radios. Neither Sprint nor T-Mobile offer any details on how this will work, but T-Mobile did say their implementation will make AT&T's tech look small. Those be fighting words. And that's all the news I have for you today in the blip. I want to thank you again for joining me. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to this YouTube channel while you're at it. My name is Jamoka Cobbs. You can follow me on Twitter at SNJamoka. You can follow Sounds Nerdy on Twitter at Sounds Nerdy. And until the next video, guys, take care.